Johnny Gaudreau, the guy who's been there all offseason long, no closer to a contract, Mike, with the Calgary Flames at this point. I'm told that uh, the two sides have remained in constant conversation. I met, of course, in Montreal during the NHL draft process. And, you know, to this point, no traction. They've said all the right things. The positivity and optimism has been there up until a certain point. But Johnny Gaudreau's real deadline is not 12 noon Eastern on Wednesday. It's 11.59 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday evening, just before midnight, as that is the exact moment in time that the Calgary Flames can no longer offer an eight-year deal to Gaudreau. He would essentially then be hitting the market, and they would lose or their advantage would be eliminated on the market because of their ability to offer that eighth year and a significant chasm or gap in total earnings. The Flames have put a significant bona fide offer on the table. I'm told they started at eight years times nine and a half million dollars. I believe they'd be willing to go as high as eight years and $11 million per season just to get Johnny Gaudreau done. But that's never really been about money in this situation, Mike. I think in this case, they're just looking to get him signed. And the answer has always been, you come and tell us that you want to be a Calgary Flame and we'll get a deal done. And to this point, the Gaudreau camp has not been willing or, or interested in engaging any further. When you're this close now, Mike, to free agency, as a player who's been in this spot and has had six or seven weeks to deliberate on this on your future, what does it tell you that the Flames haven't gotten an answer from Johnny Gaudreau? It's just his gut. They haven't been able to get Johnny to figure out that he wants to be a Flame for the rest of his career. And that's difficult Doesn't that tell to do you that because... he's probably unlikely to come back? It tells me that he's at f definitely leaning very hard towards at least testing free agency and seeing what's out there because this isn't about money, Frank. Like, to me, it's not at all. Like you said, like it's truly about where does he want to play? Where does he think he can win? How does that all factor in? And listen, like, no two decisions are ever the same for a pending free agent player, you know? But I do liken this somewhat to the John Chavarez, um situation a few years ago where he decided to leave Long Island, which is all he'd known to – go home to Toronto where, you know, he'd always wanted to be in Leaf and want to win a Stanley Cup. Like, is this very different for Gaudreau? If his heart really isn't in Calgary, you got a guy from the Eastern seaboard of the United States. Does he think he can win? Does he think he wants to play somewhere else, Frank? And the longer this went, that was the feeling I got was that Johnny may not want to be in Calgary if that's really what it comes down to. And I think ultimately, He's going to want to see what's available out there and try to make the best decision. If he tries to stay in Calgary, I think it's purely about winning. I think it's about the best fit and knowing that that team does have a chance. But otherwise, man, God's the most important feel. And like I say, I think this is something similar to that Tavares situation a few years ago. Pretty significant trickle-down effect, Mike, for the Calgary Flames. Mm -hmm. If Johnny Gaudreau doesn't come back, what happens to Matthew Kachuk? He's just one year away from unrestricted free agency. Does he end up coming back? Does he want to sign long-term in Calgary if Johnny Gaudreau doesn't come back? What happens with some of the other guys that they have that are also pending UFAs on their back end? Zadarov, Goodbranson, uh, Andrew Mangiapane, significant piece as well on the RFA front. Mike, I, I just feel like the Calgary Flames right now, are paralyzed. They can't really yeah. do anything until they have a final answer one way or the other from Johnny Gaudreau. I feel like they've done all the right things and said all the right things in trying to get him to stay in Calgary, but they could be looking at a major overhaul or a reset. So many things to watch, and it really feels like today is one of those days that the rubber meets the road for Gaudreau and Calgary. They, they need to get an answer. They need to get moving one way or the other.